connected. Hey guys, Scott here. I'm here in my garage and I thought I'd kind of do something a little bit different, kind of show you what's been going on uh, lately. I've been making some changes. But uh, these are our bikes, as you can see in our garage. We're getting kind of full. Uh, lots of stuff going on in here. But I want to do a bike reveal. I got a new bike. Uh, several reasons it's been leading up to it. I've been wanting to get one for a while uh, because my trusty uh, dual sport here actually both have them Karan's and I's uh, dual sports which are KLX 250S's uh, they've been great love these bikes uh, the only problem is is we've kind of outgrown them uh, skill wise and, and uh, uh, for what we use them for they do great on the trails uh, but we want to start doing some more desert riding and uh, start getting into some track riding so these little 250's uh, really aren't going to hold up to the abuse that we plan on putting them through so we are upgrading and the new bike I got is this here you go guys this is a 2007 Honda CRF 450R actually I uh, got this from a buddy of mine uh, uh, this was his bike and they took really good care of it and they just did a full rebuild uh, top and bottom end on the bike and uh, this should do me for what I needed to do. So I thought I'd show it to you. Both sides there. But uh, it's got a little Yoshi exhaust. And for the most part, it's fairly stock. And uh, it'll do the job. But basically, I needed more power. And I needed more uh, something that's uh, dirt oriented and really focused on being able to go into the track and go out to the desert and stuff like that. So this is her. And we are going to be doing quite a bit of stuff on it. Uh, I'm actually starting to work on it tonight. Uh, we're going to get ready for this weekend. I was invited to the Soboba Indian uh, Trail. Sorry. I was invited to the Soboba Indian Reservation uh, Trail Ride. It's an annual, annual ride, and they allow uh, us to come out and enjoy their land. It's uh, private land, and it's the only time you'll ever get a chance to go. Last year, we went out and we took the, the dual sports. We had absolutely no idea what we were doing, and these were grossly underpowered. Actually, uh, halfway through the event, uh, my clutch just burned out just trying to climb all the hills and stuff. And uh, I'll leave links down below that will show you some of those trails. But the bikes just really couldn't handle it, and the event is coming up in two weeks. So we're trying to uh, prep myself to go. Uh, Carrie Ann's not going to make it. She had a fall on her super motor there. She had a fall on there a couple months ago, back in December. And she's still healing up. So hopefully she'll be back on, on the uh, ride again soon. But in the meantime, I'm trucking myself to run the uh, trail ride. And uh, I got some new stuff. It kind of went a little bit crazy. But it's a new bike and there's things I want to do and change up. So here's what we're doing to prepare for the ride. First off, got to get some uh, protection. So I got this works connection uh, uh, under frame slider thing. So when I run over rocks and stuff like that, hopefully uh, I won't do any damage to the bike. Uh, also, number two, got this new Sykra mud flap guard thingy. This is the one on the bike here. And it's all crappy and needs to be replaced. So we're changing that out. Also, picked up a Pro Taper wireless hour meter. Uh, install should be pretty easy. You just double sided tape, stick it on there, and keep track of miles, or uh, rather hours. Keep track of the hours on the bike so I can uh, do proper uh, maintenance. Speaking of maintenance, I will be using the Motul 300V 1040 uh, for the engine. And uh, luckily, it's only less than a quart, so kind of nice for a dirt bike. I'm not used to that. But there's also a Transoil, so a separate fluid that I need to put in this bike. I'm not used to this, but I already read the directions, downloaded the, uh, the manual, so it shouldn't be too hard, even for an idiot like me. Also, decided we were going to upgrade the sprockets, so we got a 48 tooth rear uh, pro taper, and we got a 13 tooth front sprocket for the bike. These are the, the from what I understand, these are the stock sizes. I just want to replace them. They're getting kind of old, as you can see. But uh, I figured it would be about time, and the chain was getting old, twos and flabby. I needed to, to 
tighten that. So I figured since I'm getting new sprockets, might as well get a new chain while we're at it, which is a Pro Taper Gold M Motocross chain. So I did that. Also got a little bit crazy, and I ordered these on eBay, and uh, I'll leave a, a link in there for you. But LED lights. The bike doesn't have any lights. I'm not exactly sure where to put them, so if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. But I'm thinking I'm going to mount them somewhere at the lower end of the bars, possibly. I can't really put it onto the forks because as soon as you turn the turn it, you're going to run into it. So I can't put them there. I thought I was going to be able to. Maybe I can put them down lower. I don't know. Then stuff hits it, whatever. So I'm thinking the best spot maybe here or even cut a hole in my plate. Put it here. I don't know. If you guys have done this, let me know. Uh, it's new to me, but I figured I don't want to get stuck in the dark on some trail and not have light. So, and I got a whole wiring kit for it with a switch, so we'll figure that out. But also, bar protection, it needed it, so we're getting the Sykra uh, bar ends uh, protectors. So, this is something I definitely needed at the trail at the last event. We went through a lot of bushes, and if I didn't have the handguards on my bikes, these would have killed myself. And since I was doing all this crap, might as well do a pro taper bar. It's the uh, uh, sort of flex adjuster thing on there, but we'll see. So I'm going to install this tonight. And, uh, well, maybe not all of it. I'm going to install as, as much as I can tonight in preparation for the event. So, I'll do a little uh, time lapse. See how far we can get tonight. And then uh, we're going to do a test run this weekend with the guys. Uh, they did invite me down to help them prepare the, the course for the following week. So, I'm super excited about that. I'm going to film and uh, you'll get to see kind of behind the scenes on what, what goes on with setting up an event like that. 